Understanding Missed a Lot, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, missed a lot. This is a common expression in English, and understanding it can help you in both speaking and comprehension. So, let's dive in and unravel its meaning and usage. Missed a lot is a phrase that combines the verb miss with the quantifier a lot. The verb miss can have different meanings depending on the context. It might mean failing to hit, catch, or reach something, feeling sad about the absence of someone or something, or failing to understand or perceive. When combined with a lot, it intensifies the sentiment suggesting that something was greatly missed or a significant opportunity or moment was lost. 1. Emotional context. When someone says, I've missed you a lot, it's an expression of deep longing or affection, indicating they felt the absence significantly. 2. Opportunities or events. If used in a context like, you've missed a lot at school, it means a substantial amount of events or information has been missed. 3. Misunderstandings. In a sentence like, I missed the point a lot, it means the speaker frequently failed to understand the essence or main idea. 1. Literal versus figurative meaning. Don't confuse the literal meaning of missing a target with the figurative sense of feeling the absence of someone or something. 2. Overuse. While a lot emphasizes the extent, using it inappropriately can lead to exaggeration. Ensure the context justifies the intensity. 3. Tense consistency. Pay attention to the tense. Missed a lot is in the past tense. If talking about the present, use missing a lot. Let's look at some examples to understand better. Since moving away, I've missed my family a lot. He missed a lot of classes, so he's behind in his studies. I missed the joke a lot, so I didn't laugh with everyone else. That's all for our exploration of missed a lot. Remember, context is key in understanding its various uses. We hope this video has been helpful in your English learning journey. Keep practicing, and see you in the next lesson.